Hello, so in this view, let's prepare foundation plan view. So let's go to our Revit project and first let's uh, make floor plan and let's change its name. So we need foundation plan. So let's say level zero is our foundation plan. Uh, it's good thing to put maybe some short uh, abbreviation like FP for foundation plan and I can find all the views with this uh, letters to find all the plans with, and views which is used for foundation. Uh, next part in foundations if I have foundations with some piles uh, or other foundation type, it would be great to have additional foundation plans. So we need two foundation plans. One foundation plan will be for our piles and another foundation plan will be for our uh, ordinary foundations. So let's make additional uh, level here and let's uh, type level name. Let's say it will be floor minus, minus one floor and elevation will be minus 0 0.600 and this will be our level zero so let's say first floor bottom dash and plus zero point three zeros yes let's rename and let's put this name in here also so we can see which floor plans they are activated and let's create additional floor plan for our foundation and foundation plans should be created in the structure category, structure plan category. So let's do it in here. And let's delete them from architecture part. Delete these plans. And in structure part, I have two plans. So in first version, I don't need these uh, elevation symbols here. So I can hide all the categories and I just have uh, main objects. So for foundation plan, also I don't need all other stuff which is presented here. So I can just delete or uh, uncheck all the elements. And I need just structure part. Uh, so walls, structure columns, maybe stairs to see in which location we are and do we need foundation mm -hmm. no floors and of course foundations next part i need to change uh, wall and other architecture component uh, representation or structural component representation so I don't so I get only the foundation like a main object so in this case I change wall representation let's change lines to find dash and let's bring color let's say blue and let's look what will happen So this wall is cutted, so let's select cutting and let's change color to blue. Okay. Okay. And cut pattern. I don't want any pattern. I want to see through my walls. And I want to have only uh, the representation 
in which position false is located. So the same I do with my columns. And for columns, let's select color, maybe this one, bright one. And also turn off pattern. And also I can do the same for just basic not cut it walls or columns and the same stuff goes to my steers and let's do maybe another color Okay, so now I just, just have main objects, my foundations, and representation of other objects, columns, and uh, other stuff. For foundations, I also would like to see all uh, what is beneath, so I put unlimited and apply. And beneath my cut plane, I can choose uh, not very high, so I can see all the tops of my foundations. Next foundation plan is my foundation plan in which I see only piles. So here I can modify unlimited and let's say minus 100 and minus 100 and in here I see only piles. If my grid lines disappear, so I should uh, go and check my elevations and all the grid lines should go through all the levels. So they cut all the levels. Okay, now I have my uh, pile location here. Uh, other example I can do the same here but I can let's say give uh, additional information and in this case I I can see my pile caps and in, in this case it would be great to uh, do the same like I did with walls or columns uh, so I uncheck all objects. To save time, it's better to create some template views uh, so you can save time not doing the same stuff each time. Uh, so I want to see foundations in, 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 and walls, stairs, structure columns. And in foundation section, I would like to change representation of my uh, pile caps so i will uh, change it let's say line let's bring also dashed line and let's give it blue one and let's do the same for the cut it object okay let's apply and i would like to see transparent view so I can see through through my uh, pile caps so I can put transparency here and here I can see how the piles looks like and there's uh, my pile cap on the top so in this case it's better to represent my piles and this plan will be for the foundation piles no and this one will be so one foundation plan with all foundations and another foundation pile plan 
also it would be great to see my my piles in this uh, plan so i also can change and put transparency for my foundations and i can change my piles so i can see them also in this dashed line So from here I can see these objects are in dashed lines. Also transparency I can change wireframe and it gives me everything wireframe and I can see everything through all the layers. Uh, so it depends uh, from the results which I want to get so I can make different modifications. So here I have my plans prepared for dimensioning, tagging and putting other information.